Hey there moviegoers, this is Alex again with another edition of Talkies. This week I'd like to talk to you guys about Due Date. Due Date is the new R-rated road comedy movie directed by Todd Phillips and starring Robert Downey Jr., Zach Galifianakis, and featuring Danny McBride and Michelle Monaghan. So Due Date is a kind of road trip comedy about two strangers who need to make their way to San Diego after they're both put on the no-fly list. The two have very conflicting personalities. So getting from A to B is kind of a difficult task, at least for one of them. The film is directed by Hangover director Todd Phillips. So Robert Downey Jr. is probably best known for being really awesome, then doing some not-so-awesome things, and then making a huge comeback and being one of the biggest names in the business, and arguably the most awesome. Downey's success doesn't come from nothing, though. It actually comes from being really good at his job. He's the kind of guy you can put in any genre of movie and still be great. In Due Date, he's just got the coolest sense of humor. His own. I mean, when you get a guy like Robert Downey Jr. to be in one of your movies, the best directorial decision you could ever make is just let him do his own thing. He's got such a real comedy about him. And even though he was really funny, his character still had a lot of depth. So now on to the very first actor I've ever officially reviewed twice. Zach Galifianakis in all of his bearded glory appears in this movie as an eccentric and socially awkward wannabe actor. Galifianakis' character on the outside is a lot like his character from The Hangover, but because most of the movie is just between these two characters, you see a lot more death and a lot more emotion. Deep down, Galifianakis is always going to be a funny guy but he's got some real serious acting chops. And there are a couple of parts in this movie that really showcase that. You get a little bit of everything in Galifianakis' performance in this movie. I was definitely surprised at some of the shapes he pulled. So Michelle Monaghan is not exactly a household name, but chances are you've actually seen her in something. Whether it was Eagle Eye or Gone Baby Gone or Kiss Kiss Bang Bang or a number of others. Although I don't usually remember her name, I always have enjoyed her work, so it was actually really nice to see her in this movie. She plays an expectant mother, and Robert Downey Jr.'s character's wife, and motivation to get home. She's got a really sweet and innocent character, and throughout the movie all she really wants is to see her husband before their baby's born. She broke up all of the goofy guy comedy and added a little femininity to the movie. Lastly is Danny McBride, who is in my opinion one of the funniest actors in the business today. He's just got this way of making everything disgusting and hilarious at the same time. Both in the way he says his lines and through his body language. He's just a really funny guy. He only really has a brief cameo in this movie. Two other big names, Jamie Foxx and Juliette Lewis, brief cameos, but neither of them really hold a candle to Danny McBride's. I don't even want to give away anything he does simply because it'll just be that much funnier when you go see it. I just think it's worth mentioning that the small part McBride was in was probably the funniest part of the whole movie. So the thing I've been saying about this movie is that if you like The Hangover, you'll love this movie. It's really as simple as that. Although the main idea of Due Date isn't as original, <coughs> planes, trains, and automobiles, <coughs> sorry, the humor woven throughout the story is just as surprising and just as hilarious. Having said that, what sets this apart is how much deeper emotionally this movie goes, and how it does that while still preserving the comedy. This is definitely the funniest new movie I've seen since I've been doing this, which is a whopping four months. In conclusion, I would like to give Due Date a 9 out of 10. If you can find any one thing that interests you about this movie, there's definitely something for you. The humor is really risque, and it definitely deserves its R rating. But it was a hilarious movie with a surprising amount of heart. And I think that's what made me like it so much. That is it for this week's edition of Talkies. Signing off for FingerLakes1.com, my name is Alex Sinecropi, and what I really want to do is direct. I'll see you guys later.